Hello, good afternoon. It's time for business. My name is Ikea Abedio. Now, members of the Locked Up Investment Holders Forum have resumed packeting the Ministry of Finance. Members demanding payment of their monies. The forum is seeking the release to depositors of locked up funds and financial institutions licensed by the Bank of Ghana, which have become insolvent. What different strategy are they deploying this time around? My colleague, Eko Sachi, has some updates. Hello. If you can hear me, what can you tell us? Okay, so uh, thank you very much, uh, Kia. So today, members of the Locked Up Investment Trust Forum uh, state their fourth consecutive uh, week picketing at the Ministry of Finance in order to demand their money. So today, um, unfortunately, they are unable to meet any officials of uh, the Ministry of Finance. They, they, they dispersed no long ago. For them, it was quite disappointing and quite frustrating because most of uh, the formation of these members, most of them are people who are pensioners. So when you talk about their strength to, to continue their packaging, it is not it is not there like that compared to uh, uh, persons who are in their youthful age. So today, the, I managed to speak to the convener of the group, that is Dr. Eduana Nielchi, who, who is the convener of the group. He expressed quite uh, frustration and disappointment. But according to him, the members are really pushing for for, uh, they are really asking, what they are asking government to do now is that government should engage a partner such as the World Bank and the IMF in order to ensure that part of the stability fund will be used to pay them in terms of who used to settle their lot of investment so that there will be stability in the financial market in the country. As you are well aware, uh, as part of the commonness of this IMF and World Bank, they want to ensure that there is financial stability uh, uh, there's financial uh, stability in the market across um, nations and all of that. So that is the fresh demand that they are pushing forward to the government to ensure that their monies are being paid. It, it is not quite too uh, promising though because they were expecting that a list officials of the ministry, either the, the, the minister or the deputy minister, will engage them on the way forward. Last two weeks, the deputy minister of finance, Dr. Sinamwa, promised to engage them on the way forward so that they settle the issue. It didn't happen last week, and this week came. So for them, it is quite disappointing. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, Eko Sachi. He is my colleague at the finance ministry. That's it for business. My name is Ikea Babius. Sports News is up next.